Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. What's happening folks? It's Terry Crews and Son of Beast. Welcome to another game as we're ready to have a next matchup. This is the only game four that we have here for Stanley Cup playoffs of the conference semifinals in the Western Conference. But this time, this is where it comes in. Win or go home for the Winnipeg Jets. They've already been shutting down for, for two games in a road trip and one game home, home uh, the game against the Dallas Stars. They only had three, but the Jets need to find their way to stay alive for this game. Will this will be a, a winning success for the Jets, or will this be a unpressure breakable for the Stars and a shutout scores over in a series for them? As the Jets will be ending their season in the postseason in the second round. We'll find out if there is a choice. Now, for my next commentator, that this will be the only game, James Tobolsky, and he's along with Cheryl, and Karandre will be heading into the center ice to have the players in professionally, and we'll be seeing you back soon for the post-game show. Now, let's get this thing started. Stars of Dallas and Winnipeg of Jets, ready to go. See you all later, everybody. Enjoy. Everybody, welcome to Winnipeg, and we are in the true north. It's hockey weather, and the Jets are on the ice. Really looking forward to this one tonight. The Jets kick things off by winning the opening face-off, and here we go. Here's a chance! Denied by the puck stopper. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. The Stars move the puck into the defensive zone. Takes it to the net. Gets a little to make the stop. Listen, Jay, the shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get, and he challenges. He's set, ready to go, in great position, and makes the save as a result. Heiskanen's a solid defender, but he can still throw up points for his puck. Connor's wheel zone ability means he can move past everyone with his great skating speed. Those are two players I know I'm going to be keeping an eye on tonight. Let's see if one of them can give their team the upper hand. Guys, back to you. Moves it quickly over to Connor. Just enough to keep it out of the net. Dallas takes possession off the draw. Pumped away in the offensive zone by Shifley. The Stars will play the puck from behind the net. Here's a short pass to Robertson. Winnipeg's got the puck. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Oh, he just got enough of that one to keep it out. Dallas with a big defensive zone faceoff. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Across the line from center. What a steal on his own end. Winnipeg's ready to go on the attack. Morrissey's got it in the offensive zone. And that's intercepted in the defensive end. Passes up ahead from the left wing. Made the stop on the play. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Grabbed along the board by Ewers. And then Pence goes off the stick. And he had the answer on that play. Lots of time left in this 
period. Still scoreless in this one. Pins want the draw and they'll start with the attack. Take it along the wall by Kowalski. Skates to the crease. Handles the pass. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Here's a shot. Oh, he had the answer on that one. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. And a tenacious effort pays off as he comes up with it. The Stars will play it in their own end. Dallas has it against the half wall. Winnipeg's got the puck along the boards. Chris went in front. Looking to make 
most vulnerable right now. You know it's a goaltender, so you want to keep them in. Sends it in deep. The Jets gain control of the puck. Quick feed to Malarney. Moves the puck. And he takes the dish. Headman pass. Moves it to Bill Andrea. The Jets grab possession of the puck.
taken by Dillon. The Jets will play for the defensive zone. What's an open space at center? Here's a chance! And he easily stops that one. Walton covers it up. We get a whistle of small things down. The Jets are really down the key here, but in this first period, they have looked really good offensively so far. Last minute remaining in the first period of playoffs. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Works it across to Shifley. Handles the pass at center. Quick shot. That's blocked by Washington. Holds all the hands on for the whistle. Late goings in this period. Two nothing is the score. And by number 24, Blue Pins. Time to go, 109 remaining in the second period. That's Jason Robinson with the goal, assisted by Joe Bavelski. And Blue Pins, 109 in the second period of the playoffs.
Number two, Dorian Hankapah, top of the penalty, 17-02, remaining in a second period. That's two minutes for Dallas for slashing number two, top of the penalty, 17-02. Put a win big chips power play. That's one, you kill valuable time, that's two, and now three, you can contest the entry. That's a great play all the way around. What the stop. Scooped up along the wall by Valardi. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Gets it out of his own end. The Jets gain possession. Looking for space inside the D zone. Takes the pass. Oh, a clutch save! There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. He's for assist by number 67, Nolan the Dryder, and by number 44, Joe Morrissey. 70 goal, 412, and remaining in the second period of power play goal by Nestikov. Assisted by Dryer Morrissey, 412. Lots of time left in this 
period. Winnipeg's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. The Stars win in the defensive zone. Dallas has the puck. And he takes the feed. Here's a shot. Something to keep an eye on there. Thanks, Cheryl. And they win the offensive zone face off. Now let's see if they can capitalize. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Quick pass to Lindell. Stop by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Hellbuck's been incredible tonight and seems to get better with every save that he makes. His confidence is gaining, and man, he has been electric between the fights. And that's not 
Angelini, the offensive end, Dr. Landria. Look at this down the right wing, they're on the attack. And the save. The Jets gain control of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Niederreiter. Time tracks with possession back inside the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Suter. The Stars get a hold of it. Shot and gets a piece of it with the trapper. Slides the puck over. Denies him again. There's the whistle. We'll get a face off after the goalie covers up. Well past the midway mark in this period, Winnipeg's got a 3-1 lead. And they take possession here in the offensive zone and time to go on the attack. The Jets will play it in their own end. The Stars get a hold of the puck along the boards. Tosses it to Robertson. On the attack along the boards. Slides it diagonally to hits. What a steal in his own end. Back in the point, he's set it up. Gets a piece of it to make the save. Winnipeg's got the decided edge of the shot department here tonight in the second period, and they continue to lead. The Jets take possession here inside the offensive zone. And play rolls on as he came up a nice stop there. Oh, it's so good. What a stop. Uh, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a fair message to his team. That he is behind us and we have foundation tonight. They just keep coming in waves here in the offensive end. It's so Second goal in the playoffs scored by number 27, Nicolai Heller. Back to the two goals, this is by Pioch and I follow 745. And now he moves it quickly to I follow. Big hit, that frees up possession. And he takes the feed. Winnipeg Jets scores for a goal of the hat trick in the playoffs. Score by number 27, Nikola Ears. Time in the goal, 12-24 remaining in the first second period. Max three goals for Nicola Ehlers, unassisted, 12-24 to play Off the face of the
I just love this play. It's making something out of nothing, James. Just when you think that you're out of room and you've lost space, you find a way to make it yourself with a last ditch effort and being relentless on the puck. Call it cool. He was first goal of a playoff score by number 16, Joe Bovelski. He's first assist to by number 24, Aaron Dell. And by number 23, Robin Heimelbach. So the goal, 14 of 7 remaining in the second period. That's Joe Bovelski's goal, assisted by Lindell and Heimelbach. 14 of 7 in the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Assisted by number 81, Kyle Connor, and by number 24, Bill Dolan. Tommy to goal 17-18 remaining in his second period. That's Mark Scheifele, with assisted by Connor Dillon, 17-18 the playoffs. Thank 
Lee's won the draw there on the attack. From point blank range. And a strong effort on that play. And now he passes it to Hint. Into the attacking end. Winnipeg starting along the wall. Here's it quickly over to Malarkey. Sets it in front. Oh, he comes up on a stop. Here's the whistle. There's the first down for us to hang on. in a second. Back to the playoff school, assisted by Monahan. 18-35 in the playoffs. It's OJ here, and today I wanted to talk everything about the Jets and the Stars. Hasn't been playing it for so long, as you already have seen for every other season of the matchup. That happens to be one of our better uh, technique of the score games, but it didn't really happen with one of them, as they were really expecting it, how that happened to be played like this. Jets have been already been coming down into just only one game, but that didn't really score to happen until April 11th, as they already shut them down on the Dallas Stars and before the postseason begins. The first one happened in November 28th of 2023. That was happened where the Stars starts things over at Winnipeg and they shut them down and that was a shutout scores. Then the Stars did it again on February 29th. That happened to be just only 4-1 to one in this game. I don't know what's keep on coming now, but the Dar Stars Dallas are just trying to play it really well, but that terrific goals are not always an opportunity range, but you haven't really just expected how that happened. Because of what they did is, they really are just keeping that one there, just trying to let that go in. The Dallas Stars have a record, 7 out of 2 in a win of their last 10 games versus the Jets at all the time, and this one is just not really even what they were expecting that. Winnipeg Jets has never gotten past the second round, and they have never been really only taking it in from the WHA in 1975, 9, 
And as of this point, they haven't just really gotten anything, and this one never got really caught on. So only the stars that happened to be the one that they stand, they won the Stanley Cup Finals in, in a long year ago in 1990s. But that didn't really have changed at all since Dallas Stars really wanted to give in to this and they wanted to show it how it's done. So hopefully we might be seeing how the Jets can take over it. And probably game five might be the tell that the Jets might go back to the road trip to Dallas and Dallas back home. We might see a close game if there is. Great hat trick for Eloy. So he really love to have that one with this hat trick. But hopefully... We'll find out. This one keeps on coming in. And for another quick reminder for all of you, so if you have your tickets down for the Anime Insanity and BFDI, you finally made it because all tickets are sold out. We really appreciate to everyone who is here, and we couldn't appreciate to everyone who has been commencing through to take all the cover and bound. I was really happy enough that all of you can make it. Due to the population in New York, we just had a lot of adding dates in between. But in Los Angeles, was a big bummer because everybody's really dying to go back to the Savia Media Center. Just like it happened last year, but now this year, it's going to be a lot of people packed. So at that point, all the shows will happen here every year around here, from starting for the East Coast to the West Coast, and then the back half to the West Coast to wrap it up back to the East, for the Central, and for most of it all occasionally, happens to start first from New York and back to the East, to finally wrap things up in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. That will be on its take, so you don't have to miss that one out right in between. And new episodes will be released, so keep your eyes peeled, and there might be what they're all calling for. That will be one of the teams who they've got. In the meantime, that's it for now. And as for the next game, we will be approaching things down for game five. We'll be on its post game show. As uh, Terry Crews and Son of Beast will be standing in by. So if you're enjoying this one, this is it. The final period starts now. OJ out. See you all later, everybody. Through center along the 
feed to Marchman. Takes a shot. Kellogg's got the puck and hangs on for a whistle here in this third period. Well, he's been one of their best players all night. The reason why they're leading here in the third, James, but it's not just about the same. It's about managing the puck and making the decisions when to hold on. Taken by Hackenbach. One save made by Hellebach. Well, this is a really great save, James. I mean, you can see that he's battling for position. You can see him moving up and down as his eyes are trying to track and find the puck. That's without working your opponent and finding a way to make the save. Dallas wins the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Sacrifices the body. Dallas has it in the defensive end. Working the puck deep inside the road end. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. And now it's grabbed by Niederreiter. Denied that one. Dallas takes hold of the puck. Gaining momentum along the wing. Moves it to Duchesne. Good stop by Hellebuck. He got all of that hit. Feeds it on over to Appleton. Takes a shot. Oh, big time saved by Westwood. Meter riders on the attack of the offensive zone. Dallas moves it ahead. To the low slot. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. And sure, listen to these things here. They are getting absolutely on their feet here, still applauding that save we saw. James, I think it's the appreciation for the desperation save, the compete, the will to keep that puck out of the net, and you're really showing them the way. And the traffic neutralizes that. Reflexes. He's saving his team right now. Winnipeg showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period of big time. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Big time stop. Tosses the puck loose. Winnipeg's in possession on the boards. A shot. Oh, what a great look.
Two shades won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if he can clear it. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. They gain the offensive zone from the middle.
team. The Stars are showing a little pride here in the third. Really, that's all that it's about right now. This game is over, and you can see they just want this game and the clock to tick down. They want to Dallas Hill, here in the second goal of the playoff, scored by number 21, Jason Watson. This was assisted by number 16, Joe Bogelski. And by number 25, Thomas Harley. Time of the goal, 12.07 remaining in the third period. That's Justin Robertson with the goal, assisted by Joe Bogelski and Thomas Harley. 12.07. In the third period of the playoffs. Puck picked up by Morrissey. Winnipeg's looking to break out. Pushes it across to Malardi. Driving right to the front. Blocked in traffic. Dallas with possession in their own zone. And he takes the feed. Turned aside with the glove by Hellebuck. can simply take this on cruise control based on the lead that they now have here in the third. Shifley's won it in their own end. Handles the pass. Oh, the clock save! Big stop by the keeper. Now, beauty save back there. He's really owning his crease. Drives to the sweet spot. And he has to wait for more support. And now it's taken by DeMello. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. The Jets have continued to put lots of pucks on net and they lead it here in the third. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Bends into the offensive zone now on the attack. Moves it quickly over to the Oilers. Winnipeg's on the attack. There's a shot. Stopped by Wesley. 
Dallas has it near the wall. And a heads up kick pass over to his teammate. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Moves it over to Nemestikov. Niederreiter's got it in the offensive zone. He grabs the puck here at the point. And he takes the feed. And that carries off a body in the lane. The Jets gain possession in their own end. Dumps it into the ozone. Dallas has possession of it now. Gains the zone from the right side. Fires it on net. And just got a piece of it to keep it out. The Jets have definitely used the shoot first mentality and look at the score here late. Monahan's gained possession and his great work inside the faceoff circle pays off again. The Stars gain possession. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Winnipeg's looking to break out of their own end. Wants some open space at center. second star player to game and your first star player goes to Nikola Ehlers with three goals and a hat trick. He finally has earned it in game four and the fans are really loving it. Oh yeah, they are just 
coming back in now. I mean, they have finally answered it. This was nowhere why of how this really happened, but that's when you just really take care of it for yourself. Try to do for your best. Here's how you do total statistics. 97 over 74 total shots on goal for Winnipeg. Then it was 78 over 55 picks for Dallas Stars. 725 over 512 time on attack for Winnipeg. 92 over 88 Dallas percentage on the passing. Then it was 39 face-off wins for Dallas Stars over the Jets. Two minute penalty kill for Dallas and only one power play goal for the Winnipeg Jets with 113 in the power play minute. Well, that was this far as the Jets are putting it alive. They are trying to stay alive in the game and hopefully if they win in game five, they will be heading back home in game six to do it again to face against the Stars again. So hopefully on that occasion early, this is what they all expected now. For the next couple of the games, this will be only two games. This is what will be happening here, right in between to start things over. First game we've got is the Carolina Hurricanes facing against the Tampa Bay Lightning back at Carolina for the PNC Arena. That will be at 7.30 game. Then the second game will be the Stars facing against the Winnipeg Jets. That's going to be happening here at 9.30 p.m. So if you guys are watching this part of the game, please don't forget. So keep your eyes posted here and make sure you have that one enabled by using the notification bell so you don't miss that one out and it's the best way to support for the channel. Finally, on the other side of the two, we've got a, one of the great guns of the matchup. Between the Maple Leafs and the Bruins, that will be the first game at, happening at 8 o'clock p.m. And then following along with the other side of the game, the Canucks are back home to face it against the Vegas Golden Knights. As this one will be putting in for anybody's game, that will be at 10 p.m. That will be on the other side of it, so keep your eyes peeled for the next part of the games in Game 5. This will be everything before the Conference Finals is ready for, every, for the next step to get in. Alright, I guess we all say now, let's go home and celebrate for Winnipeg Jets over there. What do you say? I don't think so. I'm not a Winnipeg Jets guy, I'm not a Canadian team. Oh, no. <laughs> Psych! Got you this time! Be out for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on the A Sports style. Have a great night, fellas. We'll see you all again next time. Adios, amigos. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.